what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're gonna be working on the z um like i said in the last video we're working on wrapping the car as you guys can see my interior is all white here and uh i might have mentioned in the last video too that i did want to paint my brakes so before that before making the z look all nice and pretty i mean i want to paint my brakes white so that way i don't get overspray on the new fresh wrap so that's what we're gonna do today so if you guys are interested in painting your own brakes this is the video for you guys in the past i think i painted like my last car when i was in high school i painted it like one time terrible job i'm actually gonna do the best i can because obviously the z is my baby so i gotta do i gotta do her right um but with that being said I'm gonna show you guys how to paint your brakes, but at the same time, I'm not a professional. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. And uh, yeah, let's get it going. So these are this is what you're gonna need. Make sure you get this primer. This is a must because your brakes get heated quickly. And uh, this is the color, obviously, like I said, white. And then you gotta top it off with a clear on top of it. I don't have brake cleaner, but acetone is going to do his job to make sure i clean everything up um, before applying the primer and all that but make sure you got to get some sandpaper as well i don't have sandpaper but i have these which are going to do his job i'm gonna hit it with the 320 a little light scuff and it's going to do its job for the print the primer to stick so with that being said let's go ahead and jack up the car um luckily i have the quick jacks that are gonna help me lift up the z a lot faster than the standard jacks on the on four corners so shout out to quick jack Look how easy that is, man. Once those are secured right there on that pinch, you just drop it. Took me about like 10, five minutes to like set everything up. That's because I just had everything stored away. But if you use this pretty much every day, you kind of just slide it on and off. Saves you a ton of time. So that's one of the big reasons why I bought the quick jacks so I could do like this and plus whenever I wrap cars so one of the main reasons why I got the quick jacks is because if you guys don't know I do vinyl wraps and if you guys aren't following me on my business page make sure you guys do at Lexco customs I put it out here on the screen but yeah it saves me a bunch of time doing the standard uh, jack so these was an investment I made and I just use it for my personal car as well but if you guys wrap cars or you're just a car enthusiast that works on your car, make sure you pick yourself some quick jacks. Trust me, they're gonna help you out a lot. So prep work is pretty much done already. I hit it with uh, a 150 and then I went with the 320 after to make it everything smooth um, But yeah, that's that got all four brakes done After everything now it's time to start masking everything down taping everything and um, Adding our first coat of primer So I don't know where I left off, but this is this is day two uh, yesterday pretty much I just prepped everything so today we're ready to start adding our primer we're gonna be adding this guy right here flame proof so we're gonna do I think two or three coats uh, we're gonna wait 10 minutes in between and uh, we should be ready to apply our white and then our clear so let's go ahead and add the primer we're ready to start our primer so let's go let's hopefully this comes out the way I plan it, if not, then I ruined my brakes, but. Mm. 
little light coat to begin with. That should be good for now. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit and then we're gonna apply the second coat within 10 minutes. I'm gonna do all, all four right now and then I'm gonna wait another 10 minutes. So now that the primer has cured, it's been around 40 minutes, 45 minutes since the last third coat that I did. They're looking pretty good. I am not a professional, so don't, I'm not expecting like perfect, but a good result. Check this one out. This one came out good overall. All of them came out good. Um, we're ready to apply the white coat. So, we're ready for the white coat. We're gonna be doing the same uh, method. We're gonna be applying three coats. First one kind of light, and then so on and so forth. Uh, and then between coats is gonna be 10 minutes for each one. So, let's get it. I honestly can't wait to have the Z all completed out with the white brakes, the white interior. And then the fresh new wrap is gonna it's gonna come out pretty sick. Um, I know the wrap is gonna look so good with the carbon fiber. Um, but yeah, let's apply the first coat. Check it out guys. Look at the way it's looking. First coat on the white. Not bad at all. Still looks a little like the color primer, but eventually with the three coats of white, might add a fourth one. Depends how it looks, but check it out. First coat. So all four coats are done it's looking pretty good for a diy um it's not perfect like i said i don't expect perfect but you know it has to look pretty clean check this one out so pretty much now i gotta wait an hour to fully cure um so no biggie looking pretty clean i don't want to rush this process because i want it to look mint but check this one out pretty much messed up right here i don't know if you could tell but they didn't sand it enough right there, but everything else looks pretty fire. So yeah, now it's the waiting game. And then, time for wrap time. And there you guys have it. My Aki Bono brakes are officially painted. Looks pretty good. Uh, I did the primer, I did the actual, I did white, and then I added the clear coat on top. It looks really, really good. I can't wait till you guys see the wrap color 
all put together with the carbon fiber, the white brakes, and the actual color I chose for the Z. Um, it's gonna look really, really good. I don't know if you guys could tell, but white on white right there, plus the color and the exposed carbon. It's gonna look really, really good. I see the vision and I never miss. But hell yeah, it looks really, really good. I know the white's gonna pop out a lot with the Nismo wheels. I know for a fact that these these white brakes are gonna pop out a lot with these Nismo wheels. Um, honestly, I feel like if you guys know me, these 370 Nismo wheels are like the best for the 350s look wise, but these are gonna pop out a lot. And I'm super excited. Um, you guys could tell that you have the white on white right there. I literally cannot wait until I start wrapping the Z. But with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Uh, I'm trying to upload as much as I can. I just gotta be consistent with it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this type of content, just drop a like, it's gonna let me know. Yeah, hopefully you guys learned something off of this video. But yeah, guys, see you guys on the next one. Peace.